everyone, today we will talk about an interesting topic, delusional parasitosis. It's the persistent false belief that an individual is infested with a pathogen such as insects, parasites or lice. The sensations of itching, crawling and irritation are very real to these patients. In an effort to rid themselves of these sensations, people may scratch pick at or mutilate their skin in up to cause sores or ulcers. Such sores then sometimes become infected. Other people apply various chemicals and or disinfectants to their skin. Such chemicals may cause skin irritation or allergic reaction. It's also called Ekbom syndrome after the Swedish neurologist Carl Axel Ekbom, who did seminal work on this entity. But what we should know, it most often affects people over 50 and women, but it's very rare. The average age of people with the disorder is 57. Let's talk about the symptoms now. We can see feelings of itchiness or burning, feeling of numbness, complaining that they have a crawling or prickling feeling under the skin, scratching at the skin, picking at the skin, skin lesions or ulcers caused by scratching, as we said earlier, using chemicals to scrub the skin. And lastly, we can see self-mutilation in serious cases. We have primary and secondary delusions of parasitosis, primary we don't know the cause, but it's thought to be a result of an increase in dopamine within the basal ganglia of the brain. The secondary may be due to hypothyroidism, vitamin B12 deficiency, neuropathy, and diabetes mellitus. Of course, we have different causes, but these are the main ones. A true workup and physical exam should always take place as delusional parasitosis should be considered as a diagnosis of exclusion. So few individuals with the condition willingly accept treatment because they do not recognize the illness as a delusion. But when we treat it, antipsychotic medications offer a cure while cognitive behavioral therapy and antidepressants can be used to help alleviate symptoms. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our eight signs of anemia video and don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you later.